depression is a natural instinct inside of men. And it's yeah. something, it's something that is designed to show you that you need to change something about your life. If de- like you go to jail and you're depressed, it's not because you've caught depression. It's because you're in right. jail. That this right. is why. So if you feel depressed, you need to wake up and go, well, why am I depressed? And how can I change this? I had people message me saying, you don't understand how it feels. I'm fat and I can't get a girlfriend because I'm depressed. I said, no, you're depressed because you're fat. And you can't get a girlfriend. Right. You've got the wrong way around. So when I said depression wasn't a clinical disease and it's simply the result of not living a life that you truly enjoy and you're not happy with. I, it blew up. It went huge. I had Hollywood stars. I had J.K. Rowling and the guy who plays the Incredible <laughs> Hulk, and everyone yeah. was coming for me. And when this was like the most controversial I got, and everyone yeah. was trying to cancel me. And at the time, I was doing television commentary for the cage fighting here in Romania. And when I went into work to commentate, the owner of the the organization called RXF, which is like the Romanian UFC, he had a he had a, a stack of emails like this. Shit. where people had Googled me, found my employment and, and emailed him saying I'm a misogynist and I'm, I'm, um, I'm fucking encouraging suicide and all these crazy pages and pages. And he sat down there and goes, what's this? I was like, bro, in the West, this is what they do. And he was laughing out loud. He was re- he's, he's Romanian. So he's reading emails going, these people have no life. What are these people? It's like, he goes, what do they want me to do? I was like, they're, they're hoping you're going to fire me. Right, and he, yeah. they, the whole boardroom was laughing and they threw, the, they threw the emails away and we carried on with life because we're not in a society which is held ransom. I'm, I'm lucky to live in a society which is not held ransom by these people. Yeah. But in America, yeah, if I had a normal job, it would have been it. You yeah. know, it's absolutely crazy now. So, and what happens when you take away a man's speech? If a man's not free to talk, what's a man free to do? That's the first way you, you demasculinize a man. You tell him to shut up. Exactly. That's yeah. what happens. I said, if I moved into a house and I heard squeaks in the night, mm. and I don't believe in ghosts, I'm going to attribute it to the wind and go back to sleep. If I move into the same house and hear the same squeaks, but I'm a big believer in ghosts, I'm going to start being scared. I'm going to call an exorcist. I'm going to say it's a ghost. So my point is the same situation gets worse based primarily on my beliefs. If you don't believe in depression, you can't be depressed. Right. All you can be is, okay, I feel a bit pissed off. Time to get up and go get it. Let's hit the gym, bang, hit the club. I'm going to go, I'm going to make some things happen in my life. But if you do believe in depression, the second you feel sad, the first thing you do is sit down and go, this isn't my fault. I feel this way. I have a disease and nothing's going to make me better. And you're going to get worse. So, so this is the whole point. This is what was amazing when I said depression wasn't real. I said, if all you, because I was getting attacked by, you know, all the avatar mm. Anon characters, I'm depressed, you don't understand, my friend killed himself, blah, blah, blah. I was like, listen, if depression is really so horrible, why are you all defending it so fervently? So it's real, it's real, it's so powerful, it's real. Why are you defending this horrible thing? Why don't you sit there and go, you know what? You're right, Andrew, fuck depression. Yep. But they want to defend it because it's an identity. It's, it's exactly. something that allows them to feign individuality it's something that allows them to it's an excuse it's a it's a ready-made excuse for all of life's failures i'm a loser but it's not my fault but i'm depression that's all it is it's a fucking coping mechanism i don't believe it i do not believe in depression i believe if you really feel terrible and someone were to come along give you 10 million dollars you'd probably feel a bit better life is depressing i say this to people i'm depressed i'm like well life's depressing you're getting older you're gonna die you know, there's a whole bunch of people with a bunch more money than you. Welcome to the fucking real world. Life's depressing. Are you a bitch? You're going to cry about it? Or you're going to do something about it? Like life is depressing. Who told us? Tell me where it says in the human handbook that we're supposed to be happy all of the time. Right, we're not exactly. supposed to be happy. We're supposed to survive. Now, if you're a man, you can survive even if you're miserable. I say this all the time. Give me depression. You wouldn't even notice. This right. is what pisses them off because they're like, oh, yeah, you wouldn't be able to function. I guarantee I can still drive my Lambo and fuck women. I guarantee you. Right. Try me. Because I refuse, I refuse to be such a baby that I'm going to sit there and go, well, I feel a certain way, so I have to act a certain way. No. One of the number one tenets of masculinity, in fact, it's probably the primary tenet of masculinity, is acting different to how you feel. This 100%. is the primary tenet of masculinity. Do you think the men on the Titanic – felt like dying no but they acted a certain way because they were men the women and the children are afraid and they're going to run i'm afraid and i'm going to stay here because i'm a man as a man you have to control your emotions so i don't give a shit if you're depressed there's no excuse to not be an adult and make sensible decisions 
based on discipline alone. I'm too depressed to train. No, you lack discipline. Because I've been, I've felt miserable. Every single person has. I didn't miss a gym session ever. So right. I don't believe in that crap. I don't believe in it. And I don't believe in it because I know that the true cure to fixing people is to tell them, here's the example I gave when this whole thing blew up. I said, if I moved into a house and I heard squeaks in the night mm -hmm. and I don't believe in ghosts, I'm going to attribute it to the wind and go back to sleep. If I move into the same house and hear the same squeaks, but I'm a big believer in ghosts, I'm going to start being scared. I'm going to call an exorcist. I'm going to say it's a ghost. So my point is the same situation gets worse based primarily on my beliefs. If you don't believe in depression, you can't be depressed. 